What is up guys, my name is Solheim and if you're new around here, I am a World of Warcraft player with a particular interest in farming gold. And if you've been around for a while, welcome back. So today we are looking at two primal air gold farms in Shadowmoon Valley. It's basically the same farm and the same mob, but it can be farmed in two completely separate locations. And in my opinion, one of them is better than the other. So it's basically one really good primal air gold farm and a little bit less good primal air gold farm that can be used as a backup if the main one is being over farmed. The mobs I will cover in this video are level 69 and level 70, so being in that level range is probably good, preferably being level 70 with a little bit of gear so you can farm them at a decent efficiency, but once again if you're able to speed your way here at classic TBC's launch, you can make a ton of gold by capitalizing on being ahead of the curve and farming with less competition. Primal Air is probably going to be the most expensive Primal, or at least it's going to be in the top two most expensive Primals, which are going to be Primal Air and Primal Fire, and I honestly don't know which one will be most expensive, but they will both be quite expensive, so these farms are really lucrative. I've chosen a little bit of a different format for this primal gold farming video compared to my previous primal gold farming videos, and I've pretty much skipped the one hour testing part, so I don't have any results to show you guys, but I will show you the locations, so let's get right into it. Location number one, which is the best one out of the two in my opinion, is all the way southeast in Shadowmoon Valley, right next to Dragon Maw Fortress. Over here you will find air elementals along the mountain side, as well as there's this little ridge in, within the mountain itself, where you will find an additional 5-6 to six air elementals. All of these air elementals are easily accessible, and as long as you position yourself correctly you can pull, or you can simply pull the air elementals, and skip all of the other mobs you might find, like the flayers that are around the place, which is why I think this is the best farm out of the two because you only have to kill air elementals. At the pace I'm farming at, I also never run out of mobs so I can keep going in circles around this farm, and there will always be an air elemental available. However, if one person or one more person is out here farming, I would probably have to compete for mob tanks, as there wouldn't be enough elementals for us both to farm at maximum efficiency, and also, if I was running around with the full best in slot raiding gear as a level 70, I think I would complete the lap before they start respawning, in which case I would have to wait for respawns, but early in TBC, this could be an absolute gold mine. Alright, let's talk about the backup location. So this location is further north in Shadowmoon Valley, and it's basically just on the outer edge of Shadowmoon Valley all the way north, maybe a little bit northeast, basically around and to the east of the Altar of Shatar. On the edge of the map here you will find some air elementals, pretty much the exact same mob from farm number 1, and you will also find a rare mob that spawns somewhere around here and patrols along the edge as well, and you can kill that rare mob for some sweet loot as well if you're able to solo him. The reason I say this is a backup though is that there are quite a few mobs that aren't air elementals here, and you will have to kill some of those mobs unless you're really super careful about your pathing and have Tiger's senses when it comes to your surroundings, because these other mobs are aggressive and they keep walking around everywhere, and I always end up pulling a couple of these mobs while farming air elementals. Don't get me wrong, it's not a massive downside, but it does mean that you won't spend 100% of your time killing air elementals like you would in farm number 1, it's more like 90% of the time killing air elementals, and 10% of the time killing snakes and scorpions, which have a pretty terrible loot table, unless you have skinning. If you do have skinning, this location could actually be better than the other location, because in that case you can utilize your downtime in between farming air elementals to skin these other mobs and make more gold. That being said, there are a lot of air elementals available along this outer edge of the map, so by simply flying up and down over here, you will find a ton of air elementals, and you should be able to get yourself a decent stockpile of primal air. Now the reason why primal air and primal fire will be so expensive, is that the amount of places you can farm there or farm this is quite limited, as well as most of the places to farm them are in the open world, 
which means there will be a lot of competition and getting tanks and loot will be fairly difficult. Another reason is that Primal Air and Primal Fire, or I guess I should say every single Primal, is used in huge quantities across multiple professions in the Burning Crusade and will be on high demand throughout the entirety of the expansion and will be on massive demand in the beginning. According to Wowhand, Primal Air is used in 64 different crafts and here's a quick screenshot showing at least a couple of them so you can see why people will be willing to pay top dollar for these primals. I also want to let you guys know that I've managed to secure you guys a 50% off code on what I think is the best gold making guide for TBC Classic, which you can find the link to in the description and the pinned comment. So far this gold making guide has 80 pages of pure gold making information, it is incredibly in depth, and by purchasing the guide you will also get all of the updates for free, as student will keep improving and updating the guide before TBC comes out and during TBC as well. So if you want a guide that shows you everything you need to know about gold farming and gold making, go check it out to the link in the description, and use code SOLHEIM at checkout to save 50%. Now even though I didn't actually test this for one hour, I did track the first 15 minutes, and in those 15 minutes I received exactly 15 modes of air, which is the same as getting 60 modes of air, or 6 primal air per hour. So yeah, I guess that's another video on primal gold farming. We are getting close to the end of my primal gold farming testing on the TVC beta, and I know some of you are probably getting sick of these primal gold farms already, especially considering it's beta, but I just want you guys to... I want to show you guys the different gold farms that are available to you in the Burning Crusade to hopefully help you be as prepared as possible for the launch itself. I really do believe that a ton or a lot of these gold farms will have a lot or a little bit less competition early in TBC because people will be busy leveling, doing quests and doing dungeons both while leveling and at max level to get the reputation and the gear. So you can capitalize on that by farming when the demand is high and the supply could be at an all time low as well, which means prices will be sky high. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely think these will be camped especially on high population servers, but what I'm saying is they will probably be a little bit less camped because people have so many other things to do as well, and I'm trying to find as many good primal gold farms as possible to show you guys so you know exactly where you can farm when TBC comes out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, two farms in one video, technically the same mob but two different locations, so if one location is taken you can go and see if the other one is less farmed. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more TBC gold making content. I also have a link to my Patreon in the description where you can support me directly and also get access to even more gold making information as well as early access to my TBC investments so you can capitalize on investments before prices get pumped. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.